The Recar R25 series is the new clean air series meant to replace the long-standing in the Recar line they were the vibrance, in the simplicity line they were the symmetry. Although these are a little bit uh, a little bit fancier being a dual motor machine and having some similarities at least I think in the air path to like a Mila upright such as using this uh, top filled bag kind of like a Mila upright does but quite a bit different from it too really I guess it's uh, kind of all the twists and turns in the air path that make me think of it but uh, the bag collar kind of reminds me of like an old style Windsor Versamatic, in a way. But then we have, you know, the 180 degree turn, kind of like the Mila uprights do, right before the U bags. And then on the back, we have an air path that comes down here, makes a 180, goes around the hose, comes down the side, and then finally into the power head. And it comes through comes through a hose that for some reason has kind of a fishnet style wrapping around it. And then on the base of the machine we have these large rear wheels attached to the body. They kind of remind me a little bit of like the Electrolux uprights. And then we have some swivel casters on the front for increased maneuverability. And then we have a stainless steel brush roll. I know there's a lifetime belt in here. It's a grooved style belt. And then we have uh, we have the nylon brush strips in the R25 series. Normally, Ricard and Simplicity used uh, the gold strips, which would have been nylon. Yes, they would have been nylon. And then they had a medium strip that was in between that were vinyl. And then they also had a horsehair strip for really delicate carpeted surfaces. And then this model is the entry model, the R25S, or standard. Now this one, unlike the other ones, has a wood roller, and it seems to me like these bristles are a little bit stiffer. And then we have a few other differences in it, including a plastic wand instead of a metal one. And I don't believe these have a charcoal filter in them, unlike the other two. The dusting brush on these, instead of being like a horsehair, is just kind of, uh, kind of plasticky. Now just to simplify matters, I'm only going to take uh, the airflow measurements off one of the machines and I figured I would do that with the R25P because I've been told of the three of them it's the least used. But uh, I have noticed when I've done some testing, them, some testing on these in the past, the S1 actually does use a little bit more wattage when the brush roll motor is activated. And I'm going to guess that might be due to either the pattern of the brush roll or possibly the stiffness of the bristles. But the uh, wattage from the suction motor alone was similar. So I don't see a purpose in testing the uh, airflow in these machines, or at least in two different models when the suction motor appears to be the same. So we'll start this off in uh, the floor mode. <laughs> Check the wattage. And we're at 960 something. So now we'll hit the carpet switch. And now we'll test the R25P. And with this one, we actually have kind of a, th almost in a way, three modes for the brush roll. We have a high speed, which is for your carpet, a low speed for your like hard floors or delicate rugs. And then you can also shut the brush roll off. So we'll measure the wattage in all three settings. The other difference I forgot to outline was on the R25S, the switch is down here, and on the R25D and R25P, we have the switch here. We will switch this on. The brush roll is on at the moment, on high speed. So let's switch this over to wattage. With the 
go full on high, and then we'll switch this into low. When it starts flashing, you're on the low speed. And strangely, the brush, the uh, wattage goes up a little bit. Well, I guess there's a variance, but uh, I suppose maybe at a lower power, it has to strain more. Maybe. And then we, when we shut the brush roll off, we see that it has wattage that's somewhat similar to the R25S. So I've always assumed they have the same suction motor in them. So we'll just do the airflow testing on this one model rather than doing all two or three of them. Just to simplify matters. This probably won't be very accurate because I can't guarantee that we have a seal down into here, but I figured we'll do it for fun at very least. We got the hose as straight as possible. So we'll try taking an airflow measurement at the end of this. Okay. Got about 84, I would say. And then we'll do this at the end of the wand. Just to be sure we're not strained by that. We'll just a little. All right. All right, we'll try to do a suction test with this. It does have an uneven inlet, so lots of tape. About 82. So we only lost about two inches of suction. It's really not bad. Now finally, we come down to the nozzle. So we'll do this first with the brush roll off. <laughs> Seems to be about as high as we'll get. Let's try testing the suction. Hmm. Got that uh, sinking problem again. So we seem to be sitting. Oh, it's a little hard to see from that angle. Yeah, that's uh, kind of an awkward angle to try measuring this out. Let's try. Well, it is what it is. And as per usual, we'll do just a little bit of cleaning so we can kind of see how it works. Now this too seems to have pretty good agitation to it. And it seems like vacuums that have really good agitation have a lot of space between the, uh, the bristles. And it, it, it kind of seems to me like it makes pretty good use of the power it does have. Even though it's not, it's not, uh, I wouldn't call it particularly strong at the base of it. But, it's decent. And then, of course, you always have kind of an exaggerated agitation on a rubber back rug, so... You know, this won't be typical, but you can see the particles kind of dancing even from a ways away. So, in my opinion, it seems to be pretty decent. Now we'll go to voltage, or I mean wattage, and the voltage changes a little bit depending on what mode we're in. 
So, right now, with one motor running, we can see that the brush roll's off because that light would be off, or that light would be on. So we are running at 933 and 934 with the single motor. Then we'll turn the brush roll on to its high speed. And then we'll turn it down to low, which is for like hard floors. Well, that's interesting. I guess if it sits in place, it might actually make the brush roll motor work a little bit harder. Well, that's interesting. 